Welcome everybody to Mo Rat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. Essential Trimmer Part 2 Megadose Thiamine or Vitamin B1 One day while watching YouTube videos about Essential Trimmer, I noticed some from a doctor in Italy. The Essential Trimmer and Parkinson's disease patients were on his high-dose thiamine or vitamin B1 protocol to help with their tremor. The doctor turned out to be Dr. Antonio Constantini. This is a picture of the good doctor on his GoFundMe page. He died recently of COVID-19, and this page is an attempt to keep his work going. I am not associated with these people in any way, but the videos on his channel sure look like he helped a lot of people with his work. So, I decided to give his high-dose thiamine protocol a try. It did not look difficult or dangerous. Just take two or three grams of thiamine, which is supposed to be safe at any level. If only life were this simple. I should have started with a small dose and worked my way up, but I knew it would take as long as two months and I was in a hurry to see if this would work. So, I started with two grams a day. After three days, I was too nauseated to keep going. The first thing I should have done was educate myself about thiamine. The expert that everyone seems to refer to is Derek Lonsdale, and this is the book I should have read before I started. I would have saved myself a lot of time and suffering. The other person I needed to know about was Elliot Overton, he has many YouTube videos where he goes into great detail about thiamine. But more importantly, he has a downloadable protocol about everything you need to know about high-dose thiamine on this website. This is the table of contents for the two documents you can download. Not cheap, but I am happy I paid the money. He sure knows a lot about thiamine. I don't know what D-I-P-C-N-M stands for, but... I would guess that means he's very competent. Anyway, he's somebody I would trust to know a lot about thiamine. That was what I should have done, and this, unfortunately, is what I did instead. To begin with, I did not know how much thiamine I was taking. So I pulled out the B-complex that I have taken for years to find out. I was relieved to find out that I was taking 20 times the normal daily value, or 25 milligrams. But then I realized that I was still only at 1% of the amount I needed, and that this form, thiamine mononitrate, was a salt version of thiamine and was very poorly absorbed. The only good thing about the two salt versions of thiamine was that they had very few side effects. That's when I switched to benfoshamine, and that was when I noticed the side effects. Benfoshamine is the fat-soluble version of thiamine, much more absorbed, and it is e easily passes the blood-brain barrier. But after three days of nausea, I stopped taking it. The last form of thiamine is the disulfide, or TTFD version, that uses the methylation pathway to absorb the thiamine. This is the best and most expensive form. I found three products in this group. The first as seen here was Sobutamine. This was developed in Japan after World War II to combat the big rise in beriberi. It comes in 200 milligram capsules, so you can take fewer capsules than with the other two. Elethalamine was discovered in garlic, and it still has that sickening garlic smell. I just couldn't stand to take it. Thiamax is the product developed by Elliot Overton because of the shortage of good products in this area. It's expensive, and it is often out of stock. After weeks of trying these products and getting sick, I finally gave up. The next thing I tried was thiamine injections. I started slow with small amounts, 25 milligrams, and slowly increased the dose until one day, an hour after the injection, 
my arm went limp. Within half an hour, my arm was fine, but my wife still insisted I go to the emergency room. 24 hours later, after many unnecessary tests and a horrible prescription for statin drugs, I was back home. My hands were still shaking. That's when I decided to do it the right way, and I downloaded Elliot Overton's protocol and started over. I am now up to 900 milligrams of benfosamine and 100 milligrams of Thiamax without side effects. I plan on doing several follow-up videos if I get some results. I have no connection of any kind with any, with any of the products mentioned. And I plan on putting all of these in a playlist which will appear at the end of this video. Be sure to click on it because finding playlists on YouTube can be difficult. It is much easier to find in your history file. Also, join the nation. Click on the mole rat on the right. And thanks for watching.